Okay, hello everyone. So we are going to prove or verify trigonometric expressions. And as you will see as we do the examples, so it will be an advantage if you've memorized uh, these identities, uh, especially, especially the basic ones. So um, let's start with the examples. So um, okay, let's start with the first one. Let's say we are given, um, so we need to prove that sine x plus cosine x squared is equal to 1 plus 2 sine x cosine x. Okay, so uh, let's uh, modify. The goal here is to modify this uh, left-hand side um, to in order to see if this these expressions are actually equal. Okay, so let's do that. So let's square this uh, expression right here. So um, this will be sine squared x plus 2 sine x cosine x, right? And then plus cosine squared x. Okay, so is equal to 1 plus 2 sine x cosine x. Okay, so um, from our Pythagorean identities, we can see that um, cosine squared Cosine squared theta plus sine squared theta is equal to 1. Okay, so the same thing here applies. So, so this since this is 1, so since uh, both of this will become 1, so we, are, we will get 1 plus 2 sine x cosine x. Okay, so this is exactly the same. So we can say that the expressions are equal. Okay, so let's uh, move on to a, um, another example. Okay, so let's say uh, we are asked to verify that um, 1 plus sine squared x divided by cosine squared x is equal to 1 plus 2 tangent squared x. Okay, so um, how do we do this? So let's try first by uh, separating these two terms right here 1 over cosine squared x plus sine squared x over cosine squared x okay so let's not uh, write this um, all over again so so what is 1 over cosine squared x so we know that that is secant squared x right and then sine squared x over cosine squared x is equal to tangent tangent squared x. So, um, in order to save time, so you have to look at the right-hand side so that um, if you see, for example, the tangent squared x, so that gives you an idea that you should separate these terms because you will get tangent squared x here by um, um, is uh, tangent squared x is equivalent to sine squared x over cosine squared x. Okay, so okay, so now that we have that, so this is still not equal, right? So 1 plus 2 tangent squared x. So what are we going to do? How are we going to modify this? So if we take a look again at the Pythagorean identities, we can see here that um, um, secant squared x, secant squared theta is actually tangent squared theta plus 1. Okay, so that is the key right there. So um, secant squared x so this is actually 1 plus tangent squared x. And then we have plus tangent squared x is equal to 1 plus 2 tangent squared x. Okay, so we, well, we have already have two equal signs here, which is, <laughs> okay, so we, this is equal to 1 plus 2 tangent squared x. So they indeed are equivalent. Okay, very nice. So how about another example? So let's try another one. Okay. Okay, so let's let's try this one. So we have here uh, for the third one we get secant negative x all over tangent x plus cotangent x is equal to negative sine of negative x. Okay, so let's um, modify this left-hand side so that uh, we will get this 
uh, negative sine of negative x. Oh, but uh, as you can see, using the odd and even uh, identities, right? Um, sine of negative x, this is actually equal to negative sine of x, right? So we will get negative sine of negative x right here. So this is equivalent to, wait, this is, this is also equal to just sine x, okay? So now that we've simplified that, let's simplify this uh, left-hand side. Okay, so secant of negative x. If we go to the odd even identities again, secant of negative x is actually equal to secant of x because um, secant of negative x is even. So um, we can rewrite it as secant of x, okay? So we no longer have that unnecessary um, negative tangent of x plus cotangent of x. Okay, so how are we going to proceed here? So um, we can start by um, expressing this secant tangent and cotangent into sine and cosine. So um, we can try that. 1 over um, cosine of x, right, is secant. And then we also have here um, tangent is what? Tangent is actually sine x all over cosine x. And then plus cotangent is cosine of x all over sine of x. Okay. So now that we have this, um, we can then add, uh, simplify this. Um, so let's uh, use different colors here. So that it will be a lot clearer. So uh, for the denominator, so let's... Uh, Focus on this denominator first. So for the denominator, we have here, um, we can just um, add them. So what is our common here? So co cosine of x multiplied by sine of x, right? And then we get sine squared x plus cosine squared x. And from the Pythagorean identities again, we can we know that this is equal to 1, right? So this will be 1 all over cosine x sine of x, which is really cool. Okay, so now that we've simplified the denominator, let's plug it in here. So we have 1 over cosine of x all over 1 over cosine of x sine of x. Now it it's um, we are closer to our goal of uh, um, expressing it in terms uh, uh, proving this um, these expressions. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Uh, let's remove this first. Okay, so it's a matter of evaluating this cosine of x multiplied by cosine of x sine of x all over one. So you can cancel this out. Then we will get sine of x. So we've proven uh, that they are indeed equivalent. Okay. So um, as you can see, um, an advantage would definitely be, um, uh, you would definitely have an advantage if you've memorized these uh, identities, especially during um, quizzes or exam where the time is limited. So, um, okay, so uh, that's all for this video and that is basically the concept of um, proving or verifying trigonometric expressions. So there are many more complex um, expressions than this. So this is uh, just um, a way of showing how, how this is done, okay, using uh, different identities. So um, yeah, so thank you for watching. See you in the next video.